Good afternoon, YouTubers, and now we come to our second uh, teaching on the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. And this concerns the Beatitude which says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now there's been a lot of uh, uh, discussion about this particular passage and much of it involves a great deal more heat than light. So I want to try to give the, put this in its context and help you to understand what Jesus is actually saying. First place, the words poor in spirit are properly opposed to the three words proud in spirit. When a person is proud, he can't hear from God. When he's proud, he rejects the idea that God has the right to rule over his life. And when he's proud, he rejects God's grace for himself. And it's for this reason that James chapter 4 verse 6 says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Probably the greatest crystallization of this whole idea occurs in Luke chapter 18 uh, verses 9 through 14. So let me read that to you real quick. You can see what I mean. It says, Jesus also told this parable to certain ones who trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Okay, so these guys are proud and viewed others with contempt. So Jesus is going to tell a story about a proud man and someone else. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one was a Pharisee, kind of Jesus' uh, go-to person for an individual who's proud. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. These guys were what we call tax farmers. They collected the taxes from the people for a commission from the Roman government. They were deeply hated. The Pharisee stood and was praying thus to himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast two times a week. I pay tithes of all that I get. On the other hand, Jesus says, but the tax gatherer tax collector standing some distance away. In other words, he was, uh, he was afraid to, pro to approach God, afraid to come close to the uh, throne of God. He was standing some distance away. He was even unwilling to lift up his eyes to heaven, but he was beating his breast and he was saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. Now those two words are exceedingly important because he looks at himself and in his eyes, he is the worst. On the other hand, the Pharisee looks at himself and in his eyes, hey, I'm fine. I tell you, says Jesus, this man, that means the tax collector, went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself shall be humbled. But he who humbles himself shall be exalted. And that crystallizes the difference between poor in spirit and proud in spirit. And that explains why Jesus would say something like this, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I want you to think with me for just a moment what that last phrase means, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. They're humble enough, Jesus is saying, to listen to God. They're humble enough to repent of their sins when they're called to account for them. They're humble enough to recognize that they are men and God is God and that he rules over them. And that puts you in line to belong to the kingdom of heaven. So I want you to meditate on this con these concepts and especially the Luke passage and ask yourself, am I in line for the kingdom of heaven? I hope God blesses you and that you have a wonderful day and that you'll follow us on YouTube and follow the blog that I write and sometimes post these videos on and uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel and hopefully at some point in time you'll start buying my Kindle books because 
they represent the same kind of teaching that I have here. God bless you all. This is Steve Bradley signing off for the God Loves People YouTube channel.